Yeah, I'm back at work again. And everybody's seen those videos about me when I go to work and how people ask me to do fucked up shit. I made some comments about Obama in the Obama Can't Rule video. And a couple people said uh, that I need to find a country where people would understand. When I used the word Obama, Obama dropped it like it's hot and everybody like, damn, Obama, Obama. And it's like, Obama can't rule. And it's because, like I said, look at it. If you're a white person, I want you to be blatantly honest with me. How many times have you actually had to work or listen to somebody of color? How many times have you actually was not the person in charge and you had to listen to a black person? Maybe this black person wasn't even smart enough to be in charge. How many times have you worked for somebody, regardless of what color they were, and you thought you were better for the job? Who will you work for? What will you do for certain people? Um, I said in this video, well, there's always a black guy. The black guy is always somebody's friend, and they always got a brother for somebody. This is true. I'm not a hater on Obama. I'm not hating on Hillary. But like I told you in videos before, the longer these two people bicker, the better it is for John McCain. That's true in every election, every presidential election, something stupid like this happens. I truly believe that this was set up this year. We have been set up. A series of events have put us in this situation, and the whole Hillary Obama thing is a smokescreen. We're watching Hillary and Obama argue and fight it out every week for a nomination. You know just as well as I do, when it comes to politics, the mudslinging. Now, if I'm John McCain, and for almost a year, I can just try to be the president. I don't have to campaign against anybody. He doesn't have no, he's not campaigning against neither one of these two fools. He's not even trying. And you hear people say, well, if Hillary wins, I'm voting for... McCain. Well, if Obama wins, I'm voting for McCain. They want us to believe that shit. I don't give a fuck about Hillary or Obama. Fuck them both. They both have more than me. They're both not going to come save me and bail me out of a goddamn thing. Or you. Shit. Oh, but that's our president, our president to be. You got Nancy Pelosi coming on TV this morning talking about neither one of these two should pick the other person to be their running mate. I get on the internet this morning on uh, MSNB, not MSNBC, but when you first turn it on, Microsoft, whatever, they're talking about Obama should drop out of the race. That way, in 2012, he'll be a guaranteed show in to win. What if Obama ain't alive in 2012? Why should he drop out the race? Remember this. Al Gore won the popular vote, too. All over the whole country. Bill Clinton for eight years. Yeah. Yeah. It was good for some people. There was a false sense of happiness and everybody had something. Al Gore perfect. The guy has been propping up Bill all this time. He's going to get his shot. Nope. Every person in America that voted for Al Gore gave up on America when Al Gore lost. And I hate to have to say this, looking into this camera, burning the shit out of my fucking eyes. But this is it. If Al Gore would have got on national TV and said, this is bullshit, we need to fix whatever's going on in Florida, shut this motherfucker down, fuck it, we'll do the whole election over. I don't care. Al Gore, in the end, had no backbone. And now, they're saying, Obama should step down. Now, if Obama stepped down gracefully and said, you know, go for it, Hillary, that is not going to make him the president in 2012. 
Remember when Ross Perot backed out of the election and then backed in the election again? If Obama drops out of this race right now, then Obama's a quitter. And that is what people are going to see four years from now. Obama giving up with the upper hand. Oh, I'm going to quit now. I got more, more delegates than her. I'm just going to quit because it's better for the party. Why don't she quit? See, why, why, why must he quit to make it better for the party? Because it's just like I said in that one video. They would rather Obama quit and Hillary lose than Obama win and Obama lose. Because they've given this man nothing but things to say when it's his turn to speak against him. Both of them have worked hard enough to give McCain enough to beat them. So how in the world can you tell me or anybody else out there that whatever election we're going to have coming up is going to be fair? It's already not fair. It's not fair for any one of the Democrats. And it's not fair for McCain. It's going to be easy for McCain to win. There's no opposition. He's not running against anybody. So he will probably win. I hope he doesn't. So who would I vote for? Ron Paul? On the bottom of my ballot, and that spot where you can write in a name, I'm going to write in a name. Mine. I'm going to vote for myself for president because the only person that can help me is me. The only person that can help people like me is another person like me. The only person that can help my people, the white ones, the black ones, the Mexicans, the Asians, the Orientals, and the Jews, the only person that can help my people is somebody like me. Someone who earns less than a certain amount per year. Why do we turn to these people who have more than us, knowing that they don't give us nothing? Knowing that they don't want to see us with what they have? So like I said, I'm back at work. And it's up to you to figure out what I'm doing. But I'm working. I'm not earning enough money to, to pay the mortgage. I'm not earning enough money to uh, have extra money. I'm not really earning enough money to do anything. And it's just one of me. One of me in almost every household in America. And when you do have someone making enough to pull that wagon, that's all they have. They don't have anything extra, no nothing. Obama can't fix that. Hillary can't fix that. And McCain ain't tripping. But I'm back at work. I'm back at work trying to enlighten my people. Like I said, every person that's in the same melting pot with me, we're going to melt together. It's the motherfuckers outside the pot stirring us up that scare me. They're throwing ingredients in the mix that fucks everything up. And when it's time for them to sit back, they're going to sit back, watch us self-destruct, laugh, enjoy their life, enjoy being healthy, and sit back and watch us melt and wither away until we're nothing. And then when we're all done, and it's all said and done, and it's all over, and it's all gone, we were too.